Okay, what we're going to talk about here is how to set up the different reflector system that comes with your mortgage lifter, mini mortgage lifter, tomato type. Now, the one thing that you see here is the cord set with a 15-foot cord that has a special plug into it that will plug into your ballast. In the case that this does not plug uh, firmly into your ballast, we have little adapters that can uh, adapt to a ballast if you have a different brand. Okay, so that is where the light bulb screws in. It's called the cord set. <laughs> you can see that there's some wing... Uh, uh, little wings on there to screw and unscrew it and attach it to the reflector which we have right here. I'm going to talk about how to set up the reflector. The first thing you do, of course, peel the plastic off the outside, pull that off, and you'll notice on the side of the unit there are two Phillips head screw spots. Now it's really important that you do this. If you don't take these Phillips head screws off, you are going to have a really tough time. Um, so uh, what I will do here is pause the video while I unscrew these and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, now that we've taken the screws off, we're going to remove that bar, put the screws to the side in the same place, and now we can pull the glass off. Now if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be able to remove the glass. So once you remove the glass, you can take out the two six-inch flanges that are inside. These screw on the outside of the reflector. You can just uh, discard the plastic that comes with them. Now this is really critical, people. You'll see on the underside of the reflector that there is a plastic film. It's kind of yellowish in color. You have to peel that. If you did not peel that off, it will melt to it and cause a major problem and a mess. You don't want to do that. That's uh, a really bad thing. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is screwing on the flanges. I'm going to pause the uh, camera while we do this, but you basically line up the holes and uh, we're going to install the screws and then we're going to put the cord set right here. Okay, now what we've done here is we've attached the one six inch collar. You can see that there's actually two different types of six inch collar. One that has no hole on it and then this one here which has a hole in the bottom. Now that's where the cord's going to come through so we want that to line up on the cord set uh, side which is the one with this metal plate. You can see the other side is clear and that's where this six inch flange will go. Now for the sake of saving time I only screwed on a few of these screws. You can screw them all on there and make it tight. You're going to undo these uh, two Phillips head uh, screws here. The cord is going to run through that spot and then we're going to basically snap in this little black uh, uh, grommet fitting here that'll just make it nice and pretty. Now again, after you slide the, uh, the wire through, you just snap this right in. It's got a hole in the middle that allows you just to uh, push it right through there. So that's what we do as far as the wire. Now let's talk about how we're going to install the cord set quickly. Again, this is how the cord set looks. It's got the 15 foot cord on it. We're going to do the same thing where we take the plastic off. Okay, now you can see this is where that cord is going to drop through here once we unscrew these two. Now on the front of this you can see that there's four wing nut screws. One, two, three, four. You're going to notice on here that there's four holes. Basically you're going to take these wing nuts off, slide this whole fixture right in like so. I'm going to pause the video and do it for you so you can see it here. So give me one second and I'll be right back. What we've done here is what we talked about. We uh, slid the cord in, put in the little black grommet. We screwed it back down. We took our cord set and installed it with the four wing nuts in the bottom. You can see all four. Now we didn't put all these ones in because we're just trying to save time. So now this unit is basically ready to go. You can screw a light bulb in um, or you can reach in through the other end and screw it in and change it out when you go from MH to HDS. Um, this cord will again connect to your ballast. We'll put that to the side for the moment. And the next step is to take that glass sheet now I'm doing this without gloves on. You really should do it with gloves or wipe the glass off to make sure there's no fingerprints. I'm being a little sloppy just uh, to try to get this video to go through quickly. So we slide that glass right back in place like I just did here. And we take the metal bar, put it back on, and then reaffix these two screws and it's all set and ready to go. Now once that's done, we flip the unit over. You can see we have these little uh, holes on top. That's where these little hooks go. We have two sets of little hooks, take the plastic off it, and those pop in like so, and then your reflector is ready to hang. Now as far as your fans, it doesn't matter if you're pushing or pulling, it's about the same output. If it pushes, it's a little better, but it makes very little difference. So that hangs right in line in your circuit, and that is the Solar 6 reflector that's a little higher quality than the cool tubes we were using, so this is the new upgraded model.